Back to a brief recap of some top local headlines this morning, starting in Shasta County, where we're learning more about the two children who tragically lost their lives Thursday in a landslide near the Shasta Dam. One of the children has been identified as Reading Police Corporal Brian Moore's nine-year-old son, Riker Moore. The other, the child of the Jorgensen family also grieving the loss of their son in an unthinkable tragedy. Multiple funds have been set up fundraisers to support the families. We have a link to donate on krcrtv.com to all the fundraisers and it comes ahead of another event planned to support the families this Saturday. It's being hosted by the Rice Brothers Jiu Jitsu called Roll for a Cause. It's a $20 donation on March 2nd at their location on Athens Avenue in the Cypress Square Shopping Center from 11 to 2. In Chico, the Highway Patrol says a pedestrian was killed late last night after being hit by a big rig. They say the collision happened at the intersection of Highway 99 and the Esplanade. Traffic was diverted for some time following the collision. The road opened up to traffic early this morning. The cause of the incident is under investigation. Also in Chico, a homeowner security camera footage helped catch an attempted murder suspect Saturday night. The homeowner said he saw a burglar inside his home on his security cam, and when officers got there, they found both the caller's home and the neighbor's home with their doors wide open. Then police say a man stepped out of the neighbor's home covered in blood. They say the suspect charged at police before being tackled by officers. Police then went inside the neighbor's home to find a man suffering from stab wounds. He was taken to, suspect was taken to Butte County Jail on several charges. A family of seven in Gerber was mistakenly held at gunpoint by three men. The Tehama County Sheriff's Office says it happened early morning on Saturday when three men allegedly broke into the home, where officials say after demanding money, they left and reportedly broke into the home next door, robbing the person living there, according to authorities, because deputies believe the men never meant to break into the family's home to begin with, as the neighbor, they say, was the intended target. They have yet to make any arrests in the case. They're asking you to call if you know anything. Humboldt County Judge Gregory Kreis has submitted his official response to the allegations of misconduct to the Commission on Judicial Performance. As expected, Kreis has denied any wrongdoing, and now a hearing date will be set for both parties to submit evidence and examine and cross-examine witnesses. The owner of Lucky Miller's Deli and Market is calling it quits. The owner saying he'll be shutting down the sandwich shop until he sells to new ownership. The current owner, Jason Miller, says it will still remain Lucky Miller's and he will train whoever decides to take the business over. Miller didn't share what exactly led to his decision to step away from the deli. And now we'll send you over to Preston tracking those weather headlines for us. Yeah, uh, yeah, Nazi, excuse me there. We are seeing those showers out this morning and we will see temperatures kind of hanging on the cool side as that cold front passes through topping out in the low 50s out at the coast. And we are watching to see again a little bit of light rain activity adding up to maybe one to two tenths of an inch out of the coast for the valley. Even spotty your chances out there, maybe one to two hundredths of an inch of rain across the higher elevations. Better chance at seeing at least a sprinkle we will clear things out later this afternoon, topping out in the upper 50s in the north end of the valley, low 60s further south and mostly those upper 40s across the higher elevations as we ride into a clear and cold night across the region. And just a couple of watches and mornings to highlight in that teal out at the coast, that beach hazard statement highlighting the risk of incre the increased risk of sneaker waves as we roll through 10 a.m. this morning and then out towards the east. We are seeing that wind advisory in gold uh, through 10 p.m. tonight for gusty westerlies out there. And then, of course, across Siskiyou and Modoc counties in purple as well. We're watching for a winter weather advisory for some light snow accumulations. The real snow is still a little later ahead of us, and we'll keep a close eye on that throughout the week. Good stuff. Watches and warnings. Important to remember if you're going on the coastline there. You yeah. can never say it enough. Thank you so much, Preston. And before we go, what do we do? We're chiming in right. with some of that magical moon that we saw a little earlier. Yeah, starting with this spectacular photo by my friend viewer Kenneth Tinko. Whoa. Can you believe it? He nice. shared this Saturday of the moon setting behind the Trinidad Pier in Humboldt County. That is unbelievable. Just a magical capture of the majestic moon over the weekend. It looks so big. Uh, taken Friday from Scenic Drive. Yeah, just a stunner. I love Kenneth Tinkham's photos. By the way, here's a look at that magical moon this morning, Ooh. Preston. Remember I was telling you, I took this outside our station around 2 a.m., but I mean, look at how bright it was yeah. in the sky. I mean, it almost looked... I mean, you it just you couldn't you could see the reflection on the river. I wish I could have showed you everything, but I mean, it was eerie and stunning. But it almost looked like there was light in the parking lot because of how bright the moon right. was. Right, a little spotlight out there. The lights in the studio yeah. can't compare to the light out in the sky early in the morning. That's amazing. Yeah, with the clouds creeping by, revealing the brightness of the moon as we kick off the work week together. Just beautiful. Yeah, and we're coming out of that full moon. Full moon was Saturday, but we're still going to enjoy a couple nights of it. So capture it, send it on chime in. We'd love to see your moon captures. Moon set is going on right now, I yeah. think. How so, long do we get of these 
uh, you know, speaking of weather, we're talking about the daylight hours. How, how many more days did you say? We We've get? got 13 days until daylight savings. That's uh, the, not this coming Sunday, but the Sunday after that. And we're riding into later sunsets, but also later sunrises that won't be on daybreak anymore. <laughs> oh, man. Send us your pictures and video on Chime In, a live look from the Trinidad Harbor Cam over beautiful Humboldt County on the North Coast. Wherever you are, my friends, this morning, thanks for being here, and we hope you make it a great day. You've got a choice.